when we consider the life of rosa venerini the first image is that of a good teacher surrounded by many youngsters the same season always surrounded her spring at if we examine her days carefully we discover that the other seasons of life were times of salvation for her often the evening hours in the schools were dedicated to the women they attended in order to learn to pray to talk about the educational problems in their families and to learn the principles of the christian faith and the elderly the educational project did not include them but rosa would reach to them with her love perhaps she had learned from her father to love those who suffer to be concerned about them to do all she could to be at the service of the least ones in her life in spite of her concerns for the communities the organization of the schools tiredness disappointments rosa found the time to take care of a sick woman who had been abandoned by everyone we know that she was a stranger sick from cancer and neglected by everyone we do not know if there existed a tie between her and rosa nevertheless there was a tie of gratuitous love we do not know this old woman's name but we know that each day rosa would go to her poor house where no one had ever entered she the foundress became a servant she would put the few household items in order feed the woman nurse her as she had seen her father do comfort her with a short visit and then leave promising to return the next day and for 10 years rosa never failed to keep this appointment the poor also upon their knocking at the door of her community were sure to receive an answer of love a needy man went often to one school he was needy and would ask arrogantly for alms the teachers would have liked to dismiss him but rosa would say this poor man is troubled therefore we must help him